Hello and welcome back. So in the previous videos we created the drawing that you see here, changed the color names and some of the color settings and layers and things like that. In this video what I'm going to be covering is a few of the extra tabs right over here. So with the extra tabs, first off we have our little help menu. So if you select help right up here, it's going to come up with a window that will explain everything to you basically our terms of service is what comes up first and the excel draw version number right there if you click on settings you can see basically everything that i explained to you in the previous video is under settings the general use is how to basically use excel draw how to add objects is right here and it's a pretty extensive list basically it is what i covered with you before now this part, which is the VBA automation, is what I'm going to be getting into in a later video. But yes, there is VB automation, which is explained right here in the adding objects. Basically, we have been working on making everything in Excel Draw accessible by custom VBA input. So we've been making an API that will let you manipulate and use Excel Draw however you would like. Graphing. The graphing is pretty straightforward and simple. There is also a live rotations, which again is something new that was added into Excel Draw version 5, which we've already covered. But there is the ability to rotate things back and forth. And finally, exporting. This will give you information about exporting. Now, if you are using Excel Draw and you would like to check to see if there is an update available, all you have to do is click right here, check for updates, and this will connect to our server. It will look to see if there is an update available for you. Uh, it will look like it's locked up, but it hasn't. And this says that there is currently an uh, update available for version 5, which I we've released it, but this isn't the one that's available online yet. So it's telling me there's an update. I will update it as soon as I can. But you can also click right here and download the latest version in case it does say, hey, there's an update. So if you click that, it'll come up with a window. It's bringing up my uh, browser on the other page. But yes, right here, Excel Draw. Okay, and finally we have the option for developer reset. This will reset everything back to a default state. Using the VBA input of Excel Draw, and you want to guarantee that it's not going to create a graph and slow down the computer while it's processing and loading the image, all you have to do is select no graph. And whenever you do that, it will not populate a graph at all. It'll just tell Excel Draw, don't populate the graph, I don't need it. The mouse uh, graphic style. That is the next thing. And this is only available when if you have the style of light or dark. Those two are the only ones that this is available on. And whenever you select the mouse graphic, basically it is going to go over buttons and highlight them as you move around. So for instance, like this, it gives you a nice little indication as to where your mouse is currently at. I personally don't like that option. It was added in because several customers requested something like that it's a nice little visual it's just not my cup of tea to be honest but we do listen to our customers and if there's something you'd like added in let us know we will see if what we can do to add it in now the next feature that i want to show you is the auto update cells what this does is whenever you have this selected it will automatically change the value of a cell whenever you change it like it will automatically change the drawing that that cell is associated with so for instance i don't have it selected right now but if i go in here and i change this to 0 0.5 the circle didn't move i'm going to change it back to 0 0.25 and let's go to update cell now that i have that selected I can go down here and I can change this radius to say five and my picture has just been updated. So I can go back through and do this for all of them and it will continue to update the drawing. 
in the next video, I'm going to be going over the exporting options, which we have right here. I'm also going to be covering some of the automations because we do have automation set up for exporting and we also have automation set up for using and creating. So I'm going to be covering a few of those in the next video. Thank you all very much. If you have any questions for me, please leave a comment down below. We love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of great tech videos and releases. Thank you all very much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.